Hello, uh, welcome to another tutorial from OICT. In this tutorial, we are going to create a Flappy Bird game using Windows Form application and C Sharp programming. To start, let's start a new project in Visual Studio. So, new project. Okay, select Windows Form under Visual C Sharp and let's call this one Flappy Bird Windows Form. And just make sure you know where you saved it so you can find it later on. And let's click OK. Um, there are some image files that you can get from the website. I'll show you where to get them from. Okay. So now if we make it slightly bigger, yeah, probably about this size is fine. So to start, as usual, we're going to go and change the title. So let's get Flappy Bird. Okay, so and we're also going to change the back color to um, one of the blues, so it looks sort of like the background of the game. Now we need four different picture boxes in here. So I've got one, two, three, then four. So um, one of them is going to be the ground. The, uh, one will be the pipe bottom, pipe top, and the bed. So let's start naming these first, and then we can move on to importing the images. So in this one, it's going to be happy bird. Let's go and call this guy pipe top. bottom and then this is going to be ground okay so with all four of them named we need a label let's change a few things with the label so we're going to make it bigger with maybe with a different font okay and Call it like score zero. Oop, that did not work. So apparently luminous doesn't work very well. It's fine. Just go stick to Arial for now. So there we are. Okay. So just gonna make it yeah, let's keep it that way. Let's name this one score text. So that way we know what to change when it comes time to get things done, I suppose. All right, um, it's time to import the images. So um, here I have the tutorial open on the ICT website. Now um, the images you need to download are right here. So if you just download them, the written tutorial and the source code are already on the website. So here I have got the pictures downloaded. So you have the bird, the ground, pipe and then pipe looking down and then pipe that's looking up okay so if I just come here and right click on one of the images so say choose image and then make sure that you have the project resource file selected if you choose this one you can only import that image once and you won't necessarily copy it directly into the project folder so since we have lots of them we might as well just bring them in so once I that's from the slideshow Yeah, so now you can select them all and you can import them. Now you just select the bird. Now the bird picture is transparent, so I made sure like you know there's no white edges on there. So if it looks like that, that's fine, but you can also go and change the size mode to stretch image. So that way now you can stretch it and make it look any way that you want. So I'll leave it here for now. Let's take a look at you. Okay, so this one is looking down. Once again, let's go to stretch image, stretch it out, make a, okay, not bad, um, so ground pipe, so again, <coughs> uh, stretch image, ok, 
Okay. And then obviously we have the ground. So I choose a Mitch. Let's see. Ground. So see, this one comes only up to here, but we can also say, you know, um, stretch it slightly. So can be put in like this. So you can even have it however you want to have it. Okay. So let's keep a gap for now just to experiment first before we jump into it. I just make the flappy bird slightly smaller. Okay. So now, uh, right now, this is the outline of the game. So you have got, we got your bird, both of the pipes, and the ground. So the bird should be able to interact with these two and them two moving this way, and the ground obviously staying exactly what it is. Uh, we are going to need one more element. That's going to be the timer. So let's go here and type in game timer. So that's the name of it. And then we give this one a 20 millisecond interval. If you go to events, say game timer event, press enter. Um, this should take you into the C sharp script and put the game timer event in there. We need two more events. Yep, we need two more events in there. Uh, we need a key up and a key down. So let's go and check those. So say game key is down. And then he's up. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to need a couple of variables here. Yeah? Okay. So let's say first one is an int. Say for example, pipe speed. Let's say this one is eight. Int gravity. So five for now, we can change it later on. Right, and another one called int score equals zero. So that's obviously the default at the moment. So we can change that later on as well if you want to. Right, so the game timer one is the one that ticks all the way. So we also I think we forgot to enable the timer. So this is enabled is set to false. So now when the, if the I must start it, it wouldn't do anything because it just doesn't have anything to do at the moment. All right, so let's start with the key is down first. So we've got this one. So we're going to check if um, code equals keys dot space. If the space bar is pressed, we want to change gravity equals say minus five. Right, and um, when it is released, we're going to change it back to 5. Okay, so just to demonstrate what that is going to do for us, is we're going to link the Flappy Bird, so Flappy Bird dot top, to say plus equals um, gravity, right? So that's going to push the bird down inside the timer and when we press the key, space key it will push it back up All right, so if we start this now it should run no problem well, let's see okay so see it's going down so when I press the hold down the space key it kind of moves up so I think also the speed is quite low so we do need to move it back up Oh, this goes on the way. Good to know. So right now that's working. So we can also, you know, check to see if it's all good. Um, cool. I'm gonna try and say 15 maybe. Then 15. Back to 15. Nice. It's, it's up to you how you know. Okay, that's not bad. That's it makes it slightly more challenging, I guess. Yeah, key down, key up, and timer, all working perfectly. Nice. Right. <clears throat> so at the moment, now we need to move the pipes. So let's go ahead and move the pipes. So you got pipe, bottom, 
minus equals pipe speed and then pipe top dot left miss the dot left part on here okay so these two are what's going to pull the pipe from this end of the screen to this end so if it's going minus minus is the, this is the part where it's zero so it's just going to take you all the way through now um, if we run this it should run no problem so as you can see the pipes are moving nicely but once the pipes have gone they do not come back so we have to find a way to bring the pipes back to the game okay so this is where if statements come really handy so let's say for example if now pipe one dot left is less than say for example minus 50 right and then pipe on the left is going to be equal to let's find out how big this form is so 638 okay so i'm gonna say about 800 for now okay and you can also say but the pipe top so point top there dot left is less than minus 50 this one we can check you like say 80 and then top dot left is equal to let's say i don't know 950 so they don't they're not exactly on the same spot all the time so you know they're just slightly different places are spawning each time so because they're doing it in different times it should do just well so there you have it so now if you run the game have to keep them there right so see they go back and then they come back again so that's the idea for the moment although it looks like I want them to go completely off screen before they do the little jittery bit and then that looks like they just forcefully ta being taken off screen so one is 150 and then 180. Let's try that. Uh, much more organic noise. Right. So if you want to see what it's doing in real time, this is what it's doing. So when it goes off screen, it's basically just spawning back here and then giving the illusion of us moving towards the right of the screen. So let's see if the bird comes back. I'm just pressing and holding the space key at the moment. Oh, there you are. Noise. Okay. So we have got the main. Okay. We've got somewhat of the main bits and bobs ready at the moment. Now, in the initial tutorial, you have got a um, few extra labels that you can put on, but obviously they are optional. Uh, you don't necessarily have to put them on. Right. But you know. It's good too because that way you can sort of show some important information about your final score and then the game designer and so on and so forth. But for this tutorial, we're going to skip that, but the general gist is going to be exactly the same. Uh, we're going to go and make a, another function here right now called private void end game. So this end game here is going to be what happens when you either hit any of the pipes or. Um, if you hit any of the pipes or if you hit the ground okay. um, also what we need to do is we can do the score plus plus on this as well so we'll see if that pipe has gone successfully towards the left then that means you have survived it and last thing we need to do here is score text dot text equals Okay, so basically just just um, converting the score integer to string. Okay, so if we start it now, we should be able to see the score going up. One, two. Five, six. Yep, that's brilliant. 
okay so here comes the big if statement let's go find out how this works so we're gonna say if flappy bird dot bounds dot intersects with we are with pipe bottom dot bounds right okay we can also say here there's no prayer your face space there so we'll ask it to do the or sign so this is the two pipe signs right we do the or sign there so if it's hitting that one or we get flappy bird dot bounds dot with see nope um pipe top dot bounds right we also go to so we're checking if we are either intersecting in that section so with other up down left right positions are as they were for both of these objects right so if this one matches this one then that means they are overlapping each other so any in any cases if they're overlapping we can end the game right so we are also have to check the last one which is the flight with the bounds dot with. okay and this one is ground dot bounds so bounds are for the borders right so any so of condense this one down slightly so it's a lot easier to understand you can also put them into three different if statements if you want to but because using the O keyword there by using the two pipes pipes um, it's a lot easier for us to sort of condense it down and it becomes much more readable in that sense so this is why instead of having all in one long line so you have to you know chase it that way to read it you can just make it this way so you know so when somebody else is reading your code they can easily understand what kind of thing you're putting in there okay so if any of these conditions are true we want the end game function to run right and inside the end game function we're simply going to say game timer dot stop so it stops the game timer completely and then score text so plus equals I'll explain what that is in a minute plus equals that so say for example game over gives you some sort of visual cue on what's going on so the plus equals what it's going to do is it's not going to override what's already on there it's basically going to um, it's basically just going to add it to the end so it's going to go find the end of that text and it's just going to say game over next to it okay also I think we have made a well I've made a small mistake there so I could have easily done this with it so I can say school and then do a plus instead of doing a two string okay so just change that to school and then the score so that way so a lot more obvious about what's going on there um, also last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that to the front so that way it kind of goes on top of the label it doesn't look nice when it's you know labels going kind of over the bird okay so alright so see now the bird is over the label also I think the pipes it doesn't look good so if I hit this guy now whoopsie game over alright I'm just going to send it to the back. That way he knows where it's doing. Okay, let's try to hit the bottom pipe now. Also, game over. If I just move it here, is it better? I think it, no. Into to the front. Stay here. That's an empty space that's doing nothing there. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's try hitting the ground now. So, okay, cool. That's actually a better space, much better space for you, I think. Okay, so that's that there. Let's try and find a color. Hmm. I don't know. back to 
in blue again. That's what that's as close as we're gonna get for now. I'm gonna leave it as that. So we have got the bread moving, got the pipe moving and repositioning themselves right over here. And then we got the you know, a collision working with the ground, with this pipe, and with this pipe. Now, of course, you can set it so in a way where, let's say, for example, after after a while, um, the pipes can speed up, or you can, you know, even slow it down, or whatever, whatever else, if you want. So, say for example, if I wanted to try it out for now, just to give you a hint on how to do this. So, I'm just gonna have to run it a. Say for example, just the score is greater than five. If I got more than five, then I can just increase this pipe speed to eight right now. So if I just increase it to like let's say 15, right? So so far it's like this. I've got two. Okay. Can't drop it anymore. Oh, see the pipes have now sped up a little bit. Okay. So obviously I've got a massive gap in the mid middle of it. I can just you know survive as long as I want. Now there's also another bit that you might find interesting is that right now I can cheat the game. So if I just fly off, I can stay there as long as I want, and I'll just get infinite points. Right. So we need to stop that part as well. So we we want to have somebody play honestly rather than playing it by cheating in the game. So here we can run another if statement inside there to say for example if floppy bird dot top right is less than let's say about 25 less than minus 25 right then we're just gonna run the end game function here we can add it there as well because it's doing the exact same thing <coughs> excuse me but uh, for now, let's just try it out. So let's say, for example, I wanna, I wanna, I could cheat. Oops, I hit too high. The game has ended. Okay, so you can also end it like you know, instead of having another if statement there, if I just do another pipe here and say, just copy and paste that in there. So that would do exactly the same thing as this. Okay, so. We're also looking for a flappy bird is you know going to the top and then oh the pipe is even too quick. Okay, so now if I go over there, game is over. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Um the last bit before we go, uh, just to show you about the source code, what we have done is we have got three variables: pipe speed, gravity, and score. Um, this is the default function, so this is the default constructor for the form 1, this is just calling for the class form 1 here. We have added a game timer event, key down and key up event. Inside the timer event, first thing we're doing is we're moving the bird down using the gravity variable. We're moving the pipe, both pipes towards the left using the pipe speed variable, updating the score text label with the score and the score integer. Uh, these two if statements are checking if the pipe bottom goes beyond minus 150 pixels from the left then we're resetting it to 800 and we add one to the score and this one checking if it goes 180 below the left of the form then we're resetting it to 950 on this side. Um, this if statement is basically helping us to catch if the bird is colliding with the pipe bottom, pipe top or ground. If so, we end the game, or if somebody has flown too far to the roof of the game, then we also end it, so that way we stop people from cheating in the game. Um, this part here is checking to see if your score is greater than 5, so if you you know skip the pipe 5 times, we increase the pipe speed to 15. Okay. Um, <coughs> game key is down, game key is up. Is checking for the space key so once the space key is pressed we reverse the gravity from 15 to minus 15 and then when the space key is released we put it back to normal 15 so the bird continues to move down on the screen 
the end game function uh, looks for the game timer and it stops it and then obviously the last bit is it just adds that little game over bit end of the score so this is why we're using the plus equal sign here okay so just to run it one final time so this is the game so I can go between the pipes now obviously for to make your game slightly more challenging you can have the pipe slightly longer so the person will have to Okay, actually use some skill so for now I can hit any pipe or the ground to end the game so as you can see it says score 15 and it finds where the string ends there that's where the plus equals comes in and it just adds the game over uh, right here okay all right hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial the written part is on Mu ICT so please do check it out and other than that I'll see you in the next one